like you said, I'm the bridge between these guys and you guys. So I was a musician before I decided to go into medicine. Um, and then I married a jazz musician. Um, and then and then I became a doctor. So um, so I can I can speak both. Yeah. Um, the thing that I think you can take away from this medically and not just medically, just in general in your lives and dealing with people, um, is that each individual person here trained for a long, long time with their own craft. Okay? Like he was saying, it's not, not, not necessarily that fun sometimes to go over scales, but they've all put in the hours. They've put in countless, countless hours, probably from a very young age on up. And you're looking at first-rate musicians. So, all right, so the thing is, is that everybody here is, has really perfected their craft, okay? They do what they do. But he's not a drummer. He's not a trumpet player. He's not all have their own row, right? Okay, so we're going to talk about two different scenarios where this might come into play. One is wherever your role might be within, let's say, a clinic, okay? So you've got, you've got the person at the front who's answering the phone. You've got people who are triaging. You've got nurses. You've got LPNs. You've got RNs. You've got social workers. You've got um, dietitians. You have doctors. You have nurse practitioners. You have all these different people. And the way medicine works is that everybody functions to the very highest um, ability for their degree, right? The same is true here. Everybody's working in their role for the greater good of what they're trying to express. But there's really good communication. So Rob did something, even before he did that experiment with when Jay was trying to uh, throw him off, he did something where... Um, when you were soloing, you did some little like uh, little trill kind of thing that you did, um, and then just two measures later, Jay does something very similar rhythmically, and so he's kind of answering him, you know. So they have this communication with each other on stage. So um, the thing is trust. <coughs> you step into an ensemble like this, and you trust that the other members of the ensemble are going to fulfill their role and to communicate with you and you communicate back with them. That's the same thing we do every day in real life, in medicine and just in general. So in another way we could say this is, um, let's see, uh, are most of you residents since this is Tuesday after academic afternoon? Some res okay, all right. So I'm a homegrown family physician. I went to medical school here, I went to residency here. Um, I've been out for almost five years. Um, so I'm going to, I guess I'm going to take it from a family medicine standpoint, okay? All right, so we are the ones that take care of everything. We look at the whole picture. We look at the whole person and treat the whole person instead of just an organ, okay? But we still need cardiologists and OBGYNs and uh, pulmonologists. We need all these people. And... Each one of us in our different specialties has honed our craft. We, I mean, think about all the training you guys have done. I mean, up until this point, you're residents right now, but you've still done four years of medical school and uh, and anything you might have done before that, and your residency now, so you might have done one to three, almost finishing now. You've done a lot of training for what you're doing. Okay, so everybody trains. And, and perfects their craft, but we need each other, okay? So here comes that word that I was saying again about them, is trust. You trust that the other physician is taking care of things to the best of their ability, and they are trusting you back that you're taking care of everything to the best of your ability, and you need to communicate back and forth. That's how the whole system works better, is, is if we do that. Second thing I want to add is about ego. You got to check your ego at the door. Okay. So what you want ideally is you want somebody that is confident, but not doesn't have a huge ego. Because if they have a huge ego, they're gonna, you know, hog all the solos or whatever, and not communicate with other people. It's the same in our lives. Everybody needs to check their ego at the door and realize that everybody's important. <coughs> We need everybody else, 
and we need to communicate with everybody else. 